This question is checking for parallel construction in a list. When we read through the question, we can see this conjunction AND, and that is what indicates that we can check for list parallelism. Now, mind you, I'm not saying that whenever there is an AND, there is supposed to be parallelism or something. I'm just saying that it is always safe to check for whether there is a list and whether that list is in perfect parallelism. Now, one main rule that must be kept in mind when dealing with list parallelism is that all the elements contained in that list must be similar elements and must be perfectly balanced. So let's try to understand how list parallelism works with some examples. Check out these three sentences. The first one reads, Tom Hanks is well known for his performances in The Green Mile, Castaway and Forrest Gump. To understand exactly where the list starts, it is always best to check from the last element and kind of read the list backwards. Because the GMAT can always create twists in where exactly the list starts and what are the elements that are contained in the list itself. So when we check the element after the AND, we can see that we have a noun phrase here. Or let's just call it a noun. So that means the other elements of the list should also be nouns. So when we look at the second last item, we have castaway, that's also a noun. And before that, we have the green mile, which is also a noun. So we have three noun phrases here in perfect parallelism, but there's also one thing that can be understood. The list starts here. So the list should be read as Tom Hanks is well known for his performances in the green mile, in castaway, and in Forrest Gump, because this is the starting point. Now look at the second one. Here, after the AND, we have in Forrest Gump. This means we have a preposition here and then the noun phrase. So if this list were to be balanced, the other element should also contain this prepositional start and the noun. And when we take a look at the second last item here, we have this in and cast away, so that works. And when we look at the first element here, we have this in and the green mile, which is a noun, so that works. So we can understand that now in this case, the list starts here. So you see the difference here? Here the list started after the in and here the list starts before the in and everything inside the list is perfectly balanced. And now look at the third sentence. Now after the and we have his portrayal of Forrest Gump. Now this is a prepositional phrase. And if I want all the elements of the list to be balanced, then all the elements should be prepositional phrases. So when we take a look at the second last item, we have his brilliant acting in Castaway, which is a prepositional phrase, so that works. And we have his performance in the Green Mile, which is also a prepositional phrase, and so that works. Now in this case, the list starts here. So according to what are the elements, we can understand exactly where the list starts and work to see whether the list contains similar items and is perfectly balanced. All right, so let's take this technique into the question and try to work with it. So in this sentence, when we look at the last item of the list, we have the presence of quotes. So that is a prepositional phrase, which means the items of the list should be a prepositional phrase. But if we take a look before this and check out the comma placement, we can see that we have account for the presence. Now, this is a verb. So if this is a verb, we can see that that has already breached the parallelism because the third element of the list does not contain a verb, so we can get rid of A. Now in B, after the AND, we have OF quotes. So this is a preposition and a noun. And if we check the element before that, we have OF the element. So once again, a preposition and a noun. And these two items of the list indicates that the list actually starts here because here also we have a preposition and a noun. So this list would become something would explain the presence of a crater, the presence of the element iridium, and the presence of quartz. That is perfect parallelism we can hold on to B. Now in C, after the AND, we have a verb. But in the second entity, after the comma, we have a noun and we know that it breaks the parallelism. C goes off. Now in D, after the conjunction, we again have a verb, but the second entity starts with the noun, the presence. So again, parallelism broken. 
and in E we have the presence which is a noun but the second entity is explain which is a verb so this is also a breach of parallelism so i hope you have understood exactly how to check for parallelism in a list so it's safest to start from the last item and work our way backwards so our right answer choice is b for bravo